With that breaking news that we have been following closely all day, a 127 year old water main broke under 7th Avenue in Times Square and that flooded streets and effectively suspended the number one, two and three subway lines throughout Manhattan. Now the 20 inch main broke early this morning just above the Times Square 42nd Street subway station. In the process, it sent about a million gallons of water into the station and onto the tracks. Above it, the break caused a massive hole in the street in the crossroads of the world. The good news was it was all at 3 a.m. and traffic was light. The MTA does expect subway service to be back to normal for the evening commute. And we have a team of reporters covering this breaking story. NJ Burkett has reaction from commuters and we begin with Derek Waller who's live in Times Square. Derek. Lauren David, good afternoon. That 127 year old water main dates back to the McKinley administration. And behind me here in Times Square, you see this major hole in the middle of 7th Avenue. Uh, it's still there as they excavate. They found the main. Now they're working to replace it. Uh, this morning, we also just got an update a few minutes ago from the head of the uh, MTA Transit, basically chastising the DEP for taking 90 minutes to shut off the water. All of this creating a mess right here in Times Square. One of the busiest subway stations in the world paralyzed. Water rushing down the stairs around 3 a.m., sending passengers into a panic. We were sitting there, and all of a sudden, the, the, the breeze started coming down. We thought it was an explosion, but it was water. Everybody started running. It started to flood the tracks. I ran and called the cops. Service on the 1, 2, and 3 stopped overnight above 14th Street. In fact, I was on this 2 train, headed to work, when the conductor told everybody to get off. The mess continued into the morning commute. We have a number of trains sitting uh, in stations because once the water gets to the rail or the third rail, it can be a dangerous situation. The MTA gave us a tour of the 23rd Street Station where a train sat disabled all morning. Crews worked to suck up that water. These MTA crews worked quickly to pump out the water and dry out the tracks, snaking hoses through the station to get it done. Above ground in Times Square, city crews ripped up 7th Avenue, eventually finding that broken water main, installed decades before women even had the right to vote. Uh, so the, the water main was from 1896. Uh, it's a 20-inch main, so that's a pretty big, you know, high-pressure uh, water main. We do not know the cause. We will know that after we identify the leak, cut out the section of pipe, and do some forensic analysis. And one other thing that the DEP commissioner said to me that really caught my attention, he said that the age of the water main really wasn't a concern to him. 127 years old, he says what is more important is the maintenance. And of course, now there's an investigation underway into how this happens. Reporting live here in Times Square, I'm Derek Waller, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Derek. Well, as you can imagine, massive disruption in subway service through commuters for a big loop at the height of the morning rush hour. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Birkin continuing our coverage live in Chelsea. NJ. And right, Dave, no question about that. The subway is now back up and running with residual delays, but I'm told those delays should ease as the day unfolds and service should be back to normal uh, by the afternoon evening rush hour. But the one, two, and three trains, Dave, carry roughly 300,000 people every day. So that should give you a sense of the scope of all of this. So the timing couldn't have been much worse for riders on the 7th Avenue line. Thousands of commuters fresh off their rush hour trains hit a dead end at Penn Station this morning. With the 7th Avenue subway shut down through Midtown, one of the busiest subway lines in the city. It's frustrating. Yeah, very frustrating. Now I, I can't get to work till maybe another 30 minutes, so yeah, I don't know what's going on. Police officers and MTA customer service agents directed riders to alternate routes and to alternate subway lines. Others poured out of the Herald Square station, one block east and several blocks south of the water main break, where service was unaffected. This MTA video tells the story. The broken water main unleashed a deluge underground in the middle of the night. The transit system is designed to handle the huge volume of water, but rail workers couldn't begin to restore service until the main was shut down 
and the water pumped out from underground. The process took hours. Should be no issues in the evening commute tonight. We have some uh, comms rooms, some drains we have to clean up. We'll do that after the evening commute and in between uh, you know, off hour trains. So there shouldn't be any residual delays. We have some residual delays now as trains get back into position. We get the right headways, but by rush hour tonight, should be no issues. So they do have a lot to do to get the system uh, back online to have normal service. Uh, again, though, the one, two, and three trains now running on the 7th Avenue line uh, with some residual delays. Uh, they are expecting a normal afternoon, evening rush hour. You know, a big part of this problem was that it took 90 minutes for the city to turn the water main off so it could actually get down there and pump out the water. You know, before they could turn it off, some 1.8 million gallons of water had flooded into the subway system.